Hey, hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. So I'm bringing you another opportunity to work from home. Now the name of this company is U-Haul and they're hiring for a callback agent remotely. It's a part-time position that could possibly turn into a full-time position if you do well. So this job might be a great fit for you if you're someone who enjoys helping people and problem solving. You're someone that's comfortable with learning and using multiple computer programs. So that means that you're okay with toggling through multiple screens in order to assist the customer. You're comfortable with that. And then also if you like a fast paced starting day and you like to stay busy, you know, you don't like to just sit there, calls are coming in, so that keeps you going. And then also you're someone that's highly motivated to earn commissions by closing sales. And then once again, you're someone that's okay with working in a fast pace, you know, on a fast paced shop. So you haul is offering part-time callback agent certain benefits so you get to train and work from home of course and you get to choose very from various schedules so if you're someone that's looking for a certain schedule to meet your needs based on your family and how you maintain at home then this might be a great fit as well they start off 13 to 50 hourly and plus a potential discretionary bonus um, it's a contact center career path and options including work from home is one of those bonuses so you get to do that um, opportunity for base pay merit increases based on the performance so you get your base pay can increase based on your performance so from 1350 to more part-time benefits of course and so the minimum qualifications on this job you generally um, need the knowledge of US geography clear speaking voice you need to be able to communicate with excellent verbal communication and listening skills you need to have the ability to navigate once again like I mentioned before to multi, you know to navigate across multiple screens and be able to toggle then also basic keyboarding and computer skills so you need to kind of understand you know the options in what those certain keyboard um, labels mean for you okay such as windows what does that mean where can you find that if you need to take a screenshot do you know how to do that things of that sort just to give you a tip and then also previous sales experience is a plus so if you have previous sales experience you should be able to do this job with no problem then they have training education it's a fast-paced hands-on education working with your manager from day one self-paced once again um, they have their very own u-haul university online so you'll go through those training modules of course i believe and then learn and begin performing some of your job duties with customers for the first week. So they'll probably give you that you'll get you're going to get that hands on experience speak, speaking with customers. So if you're someone that doesn't like to really just jump in and kind of do the hands on thing, then this may not be for you. But if you're someone that really likes to get your feet wet and you kind of want to get a feel of the customer so you can really do your job accordingly and this job would be for you so you build on your skill sets th through on the job continued education you begin performing additional job duties with the customer as you learn them okay all right so scheduling requirements are as follows the total number of hours scheduled each week will be based on business needs and then shifts between 8 a.m to 8 p.m that's arizona time you must be available five or more hours on the weekend either saturday or sunday okay and if you're someone you know that maybe you go to church you may not want to choose Sunday, but if it's Saturday, Saturday is an option. All right, so you must be available to work a minimum of 25 hours a week during the winter months and 32 hours during summer months. Working holidays is required. We are open and customers need our help is what they're saying. So working holidays is required. So during the holidays, um, it's required. And, you know, hopefully you get that bonus pay for the holidays, okay? And then the pay structure, once again, is $13.50 an hour. Base pay increases as you learn and acquire additional job duties. Merit increases based on performance. So hourly pay, pay, pay rate may be higher, okay, guys, depending on the state or local minimum wage laws in your state, okay? So once again, U-Haul offers career stability, opportunities for advancement, mindset, app reimbursement, gym reimbursement, health insurance and participation plans, paid holidays and vacation and sick days, life insurance, met law, legal programming, met law auto and home insurance, discounts on Apple products, Dell computers, cell phone plans, hotels, and more. Oh my gosh, this is really great. 401k savings plans, employee stock ownership plan. Come on, guys. You know we need all of these benefits, okay, in this day and hour. 24-hour physician available for the kids. Dental and vision plans, business travel insurance, you matter EAP. Okay, so I believe that deals with like maybe getting counseling if you may need that or maybe you need a therapeutic session, okay? 
That's a nice way of putting it, right? A therapeutic session. <laughs> Life lock identity, self protection. You know, we need that nowadays. People out here hacking like crazy. Critical illness, group accident insurance, Dave Ramsey's smart dollar program. Come on now. Who knows that we need to be able to save a dollar, okay? A smart dollar by that. All right. So you'll be required to provide a USB headset for this position. So you do need that. And I always like to let you um, guys know that Ethernet cords are necessary so that you can be hardwired. Okay, so make sure you get you some backup Ethernet cords and get you a couple of USB headsets because you know you never know. Sometimes you may get one, it's a little faulty, you need to send it back, and you need one on deck. Okay, so the following is required to work from home you must have a quiet private workspace, dependent and child care because they, you know, they can't have the kiddos in the background or the dogs bark, barking while you're on a call. Okay, you have to keep it professional and silent. All work duties, including initial education, must be performed at your home address, okay? So whatever address that you apply for and you put on your application is where your computer and your home office needs to be set up, okay? They're going to check that out. If you want to switch or substitute computers at any time, your manager's approval needs to be required. So you have to reach out to your manager to let them know what you're doing. All right, so you will have to do an internet speed test at speedtestcustom.com. So you want to check that to see if the minimum requirements is met. So that would be 10 megabytes or 10, 10 MB, I'm sorry, down and then upload 5 MBP up. So that's not too bad, depending on what you have. And then Windows 10 OS or 11 OS is required. And the minimum RAM requirements is 8 gigabytes of RAM or greater. So you want to make sure you get a computer that has 8 gigs, okay? And then Windows OS processor requirement CPU, all right? So that's your your computer's mind really score of 2000 or greater and then to find processor name right click on the windows logo so you'll just right click on the windows logo in order to find your system's requirements to see if it's meeting their you know what they're saying it needs to meet your system requirements and you'll go to this website you'll type your name of your processor in the space provided and do not copy and paste so the number in the first column is the CPU mark. So you want to read all of this information and really follow these guidelines in order to find out. And it's good that they're giving this information because a lot of people don't know how to do that. So just make sure you go through here and you read all of this information in order to see if you meet the, you know, the qualifications for systems check. Because you don't want to apply for the job, get the job, and then your computer is not meeting the requirements, right? And you may not be able to afford a new one at the time, and you want to make sure you have what you need. All right, so the following are not permitted due to compatibility, performance, security, or other concerns. So Mac operating systems, you can't use that. Mobile hotspots, tethering, satellite, internet, or similar. So once again, like I said, guys, you need to be hardwired using an Ethernet cord. Using a proxy server or third-party network, absolutely not. They're not letting you do that. Computer stick or similar device. Rental, rent-to-own, or public computers, they're not allowing you to do that. Working in a public place. But not allowing that unsecured Wi-Fi, not manage running, net, you know, non-work related programs while working, having any other antivirus installed and use on your computer while working on other, you know, any other company providing antivirus. So if they give you an antivirus, you can't use any other. So they'll probably walk you through all of that. Normally, when they have all of these tech requirements, they have like a tech day or something where they sit with you guys and they um, may have to uninstall the one that you have to install the ones that they require on your computer. So all of this is necessary in order to run their programs in order for security measures to take place as well. So that's why all of this is necessary. And I just kind of want to run that down to you guys. So yeah, you can go through here and find out. So you'll just click here to apply for this job. And then it'll generate a page in order for you to go ahead and start that application process. You all is a pretty cool company to work for. So I think you'll do pretty well on this job if you're just looking for something or maybe even just like a side hustle or extra income to supplement what you already are getting. All right. So you'll just complete this by creating an account if you don't have one. And if you do, you know what to do. You go ahead and sign in and you follow the prompts, right? And go through the process. Guys, I'd like to thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Like, share, and subscribe. And you have a beautiful, blessed day. And ciao.